What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary EA. We are back here for another video, and you guys already know what we're here for. The Detroit Pistons drafted Killian Hayes with the seventh overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. And this was a highly coveted video that so many of you guys wanted to see. So yeah, guys, this is where we are. We are going to be rebuilding the Detroit Pistons with Killian Hayes. And I kind of find it funny because right after they got Killian Hayes, guess what the Detroit Pistons did? They signed and they traded for three centers on their team. Hey, yo, but this is going to be a really, really fun rebuild. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on it. Go ahead and subscribe. You guys have been killing it the last few days, man. You guys have been showing so much love. So let's get 100 likes for the next rebuild, guys, and let me know what you guys want to see. But anyways, guys, obviously this team has Blake Griffin, Derrick Rose, Jeremy Grant, Mason Plumlee, Jaleel Okafor. I can't even say homeboy's name right here, but I'm pretty sure that he went to Kansas. Tony Bradley, DeLon Wright, of course, our boy, untouchable Killian Hayes. Yeah, these guys got Sadiq Bay, Josh Jackson. It's, 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 it's kind of sus over here. I'm not going to lie to y'all boys, but yo, let's get straight into this video. Of course, as usual, this video is realistic, so any moves that we make at least has to make sense for every single side. But other than that, guys, let's get straight into this thing. So to start off this video, I'm not going to be making a lot of trades, mainly because, honestly, other than Derrick Rose... I don't think anybody's really trading for Blake Griffin's contract, and, and even D Rose. I feel like, I feel like the only teams that would really want him are contending teams. And just by looking at, at trades, I don't think that any of the ones that I saw are even close to being realistic or even making sense for literally both teams. So maybe I trade him during the deadline, but at least right now we are on track on what I want to do. I'm gonna lose every single game and get Jalen Green. Or Cade Cunningham over here. So can you guys just please stop winning and just, you know, continue losing? The New Orleans Pelicans, we get one year of Darius Miller. They get Derrick Rose to help them make the playoffs. <laughs> but let's just see how this thing goes. And I am I am aiming for this number one overall pick. And not to really draft Brandon Boston. I would like Jalen Green on this team. I think that him and Killian would actually kill us. So let's just keep simming and let's see what happens. LeBron walks away with the MVP award. LaMelo Ball is rookie of the year. Blake Griffin is six. <laughs> I didn't even peep that. I had no idea that Blake was coming off of the bench. But Blake Griffin is sixth man of the year. 16 points, five rebounds, 39% from the field, 24 from the three. Oh my gosh. I he has one more year left on like his contract, right? All right, it's not showing us, but I, I really hope that this is the final year because that's that, that's just terrible. Like that is really really bad. How on earth did he get six man of the year, putting up that kind of performances on one of the worst teams in the league? And uh, yeah, Killian Hayes, he's on all rookie first team, and he put up nearly 17 points, six assists on also really bad efficiency. We're gonna work on that, and hopefully he gets better at it. So let's just sit back. And let's see what we can do with this team. And it's clear that we were a really, really bad team. As far as the numbers go, we let him points. Jeremy Grant, we down bad right now. But hey, man, it's all for a reason. And this year, Milwaukee walks away with the NBA championship. Giannis, of course. Let's just get into this offseason and the draft lottery. We have the fourth overall pick. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Oh, man. It looks like both of our guys are already gone. And the Hawks. The Hawks are making things really difficult. So I'm going to try to make a trade with the Atlanta Hawks and see if I can get that pick, which it honestly shouldn't be that, that difficult. Well, let's see what type of timing they are on right now. Come on, man. Just slide them over here. How about that? All right. So we go ahead and we get Jalen Green on the team. And I like it. He's the best player in this entire draft class. So I'm cool with it. And this guy, I'm going to let him walk. We are really cool on that one. Blake Griffin accepted his player option. Why am I not surprised? I don't really need any of those guys back. But at least now we got a really good backcourt of Killian Hayes and Jalen Green. And this is our future. We got to just build this up and we can be really deadly. And then as far as our small forward goes, I really want to give minutes to uh, Sadiq Bey. Because I think that he's a future there as well. I don't expect any big free agency even come to Detroit. So it's really about us just building up a good culture here. And I think we actually have ourselves a trade. We're going to be trading away Jeremy Grant, and I don't really don't even want Torian Prince like that. Um, hey, this is a swap where they clearly get an upgrade for two years, so they must think that they are a really, really good team. We're still selling because this team signs a bunch of random players 
that don't even really fit together all that well. But hey, we're gonna try to fix it. I've, I've been trying to trade away Blake Griffin, but no team in their right mind is trading for like Blake Griffin. Like, I'm sorry. We're gonna try to build on what we have with Killian Hayes and Jalen Green. And if these guys can at least show that they are a good team, they could possibly attract some really decent free agents here. So we just got to sit back. We got to wait and we got to see. And looking at this year's lineup, yeah, it's legitimately all of the young guys. It's Killian Hayes, it's Jalen Green, it's Sadiq Bey, it's Sekou Dumboy, and it's Isaiah Stewart. He's finally getting his chance to actually play. Off the bench, we got Blake Griffin. Dude, I really got to trade away Blake Griffin, man. I really have to. Does anybody want him? He's on a one-year deal. You, you guys basically get Blake Griffin to help you guys maximize your chances of winning something. And then you can just move on. Like, what type of, like, this is the most low-risk trade possibly ever. And I'm sure that Blake Griffin wants out as well. So, I'm not doing this, dude, because this screws us all over again. Um, Damn, they, there's really not a Blake Griffin trade here. And, I mean, this year, we're actually starting off really, really high. I, I don't know whether I want to be happy or kind of mad about it. But, hey, if we are a good team, maybe we can end up with a pretty decent free agent. So, Let's just sit back and let's see. And at the end of season number two, yeah, we were still really, really bad. But this time, Luka puts up a triple-double, and he's this year's MVP. Jalen Green, our boy, wins, wins rookie of the year, averaging 21 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and shooting 46% from the field, 34% from the three-point line. That's actually a little bit better than what I expected, and I think that that is something that we can actually work with. I mean, other than that, we don't really get anybody else, and that completely makes sense. And yeah, no Pistons on any of these teams by no one's surprise. 11 points by Jalen Green. Behind him was Killian Hayes, and yeah, right there is Blake Griffin. Another inefficient season. You cannot be shooting 27% from the field and shooting them eight times a game. You are not Russell Westbrook. Chill out. But also, Sadiq Bey was also pretty decent with 14 points, and he shot 38%. K. Yeah, we just can't shoot on this team, bruh. I don't know. Maybe it's the coaching. We're going to sit back and we're going to find out. But this year, we're projected to be having the Hawks have our pick. Pretty sure that it's top five protected as Dallas wins this year's championship. Yeah, it's top five protected. I remember trading it. So as long as we get in that top five, we should be all right. We have the fifth pick. Let's go. And this year's draft pick, I'm trading away. So is there any disgruntled star? Because I feel like I can get some value for the fifth pick and the 15th pick. So... Give me something that I can possibly trade. I know that some of these guys got to be on the block. Come on. I'm not trading it for like Kyle Kuzma or somebody like that. Literally, this makes no sense at all. All right, who's who's there at my pick? Because it's really hard to... This guy's an A-. minus. I'm going to take him. And if he sucks, then I can just trade him. I can trade him for like Rudy Gobert. So we're not that bad off. But yeah, all these guys, I'm bringing all of them back. I like that. And qualifying offers. Honestly, you can walk. Now, can we get anybody? Does anybody to this team make any types of sense? I'm looking for a forward. How are the Lakers this bad with AD and LeBron on their team? I know that they want to trade me AD, but how is that team bad? This team was also bad. I'm just looking for like a forward. Like, which one of these guys can I work with here? But none of them are. None of these guys are appealing at all. I'm not going to lie to you. And with our next trade, we're going to be doing this trade. Trading away our fifth overall pick. And I guess this guy who was the 15th pick in return for Rudy Gobert. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this trade is because this team barely made the playoffs. And I think we need a center more than we need him. I mean, we have Sadiq Bey. This guy won't even play. Uh, so... I don't even mind doing that. And having this, this team could actually make the playoffs now just with these three guys alone. And it looks like we have a few options. We can, oh, wait, can we get both of these guys? We might be able to get Covington and Kelly Oubre. I like this. That does mean that Sadiq Bey will, will be playing power forward for us. We can make it work. We can make it work. But a lineup, this team is looking a whole lot better than what it was looking like before. And we also did bring in Blake Griffin just to be a part of a sign and trade where we get Josh Richardson and Otto Porter on this team. And they also get Ish Smith. So, I mean... It is what it is. I like our team. We have a lot of depth at a bunch of positions now. Sadiq Bey is getting his minutes regardless because Richardson is playing backup shooting guard on this team. This team could really surprise a lot of people and be a really scary team. And as far as Porter goes, I, I plan on flipping him. He's not going to be playing here because I do want Dumboya to have some backup minutes at power forward. So this piece right here is legitimately just to use as more trade bait. And OKC, I'll just slide him over there. But let's get into next season. This team may not have a definitive superstar on it, but this team has a lot of really, really good role players. 
and we could possibly shock the entire league and win a championship. Like I'm like I'm saying this right now. This team has a lot of underrated players on it. A lot of them. Like we could really just surprise everyone. And that's kind of what I'm going for. And at the end of this season, we finish as the ninth seed. We barely miss out on the playoffs. But it's just another step into rebuilding this team because it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But as far as this year's stats, let's go ahead and let's peep that. Led in points by Jalen Green. Behind him was Killian Hayes. Then Oubre. Then Sadiq Bey. And then Rudy Gobert. And this was the rest of the team. I mean, the, the team was a decent team. And how many games were we off by? Let me see that. How many games were we off by? All right, we, we missed the playoffs. We literally tied. We were right there. One more season, and everyone on this team is just going to continue to develop as Atlanta wins this year's ring. Everyone on this team is only going to get better. Chris Paul retired on the Lakers. I, I didn't even realize that he was even over there. But yeah, we can add Kemba Walker to this team. Let's freaking go. <laughs> that man was just chilling in free agency. How can I not pick him up? I like this bench. This is a decent bench, and I might even just start Sadiq Bey at power forward for us, if I'm being honest, because that might just be a smarter play for us to actually make. It's just to start him there. And, uh, yeah, this, this team can work. This team can actually work. I am, I'm very confident in this team. And is there any other free agents? Like, I didn't even check if there's anybody else just chilling there. You guys are all expensive, so I can't really work with y'all, but, like, that was a dub. That was a massive dub, and I am... I'm cool with, with the team that I got. All right. This team, I mean, power rankings have us at ninth. They are still saying that we are. Re How are we rebuilding? You guys got us as the ninth best team in the entire league. But, hey, guys, this is our lineup. A lot of 80 overalls. This team has the depth. But let's just see if we have what it takes to get over that hump and, you know, finally win a ring. And at the end of the final season, we are the second best team in the conference and the third best team in the entire league. Luka wins this year's MVP. Yeah, nothing else is really different for us, but I highly doubt that we have any Pistons players, but it's possible. Yeah, like we have no Pistons. No one has made any of the All-NBA teams at all. And same thing with the defensive teams as well. I mean, it's really whatever. We are finally in the playoffs as the second seed. So I think that that was a massive W for us. And as far as the stats go, Led in points by Jalen Green. Killian Hayes' points dropped a lot, but he's an 89 overall, and he averaged 11 assists, so that's a dub. And everyone is shooting better from the field compared to whenever we had Dwayne Casey. But he had the team shooting like 39% from the field. It was it was pretty bad. The entire team is pretty solid, and Sadiq Bey and all these guys are all starting. And Campbell off the bench was, was putting up really good numbers, so I like our chances. Round one versus Philly. Tyrese Maxey, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. Let's knock these boys off, man. Or let me chill and let's just do it first before I get too cocky. As we're up 3-0. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. We're in the second run up against Chicago. Zach Levine, Kate Cunningham, Patrick Williams, and Wendell Carter Jr. Okay, we probably, probably should have, you know, finessed Zach Levine away. As they take game one, we take game two. We go up 2-1. It's tied up. Oh my gosh, I, we cannot get dropped off by the, by, by the Chicago Bulls. These teams are rivals. And let's go. We beat them. Jalen Green with 28 points. Game 7 time, y'all. We need the dub. We need the dub. We need the dub. Let's close it out. Let, let's not choke. We win. Conference Finals up against Atlanta. The reigning champions with Trey Young, Cam Rudders, Jonathan Kaminga, John Collins and Onyeka as well. That's a solid team, but I think that our team matches up really, really well with them. They take game one. Oh my gosh. I can't. We can't go out like this, man. It's back to the Simcast. See, we only catch W's in Simcast. Kelly Oubre, 24 points. Let's get it. Simcast again. I'm not taking any chances at all. We need all the luck on our sides. Oh my gosh. We're down 3 1. Let's go. Look at that third quarter comeback. That was major. Jalen Green with 26 points. Oubre, 26 points. Let's get it, y'all. We got to force the game seven right now. We got to force the game seven right now. We are so close. Oh, my gosh. Let's get it. Get it. Jalen Green with 29 points. Yo, Killian Hayes has to step up, but he is shooting really good from, like, the field. But he's not shooting enough. Like, not enough. But at least he's shutting down Trey Young a little bit. But game seven time, y'all. We got to make these guys blow a 3-1 lead. We got it. We got it. Let's freaking go. The 3-1 she still exists in next-gen consoles. Let's go. 
and we got the Dallas Mavericks with Luka Doncic. They, they got how they get Giannis on this team, and okay, this team might be a problem for us. But we do take game one. They take game two. They go up two one. I'm simcasting immediately because I do not want to go down three one against this team. This is a really good team that if we go down 3-1, I don't know if we're, if we're coming back. This is a 10-point game. I'm, I have to hop in and see if I can do anything. We have so many mismatches on, like, the court right now as far as size goes. How'd they get Bull Bull? Yo, how on earth do, do, do they have all these players? Rudy didn't do anything with that. We're down 3-1 to this team right now. It's a good team. They literally just pulled out Bull Bull like it was nothing. But guys, can we like just not get blown out here, please? Please, can we make this game a little competitive, please? It's a six-point game. Luka has 37, 12, and 14. I'm jumping in this game. I'm going to see if I can give us any kind of hope. Come on. All right, let's see what we, we can do with Killian Hayes. Oh, I'm pulling that. I'm pulling that. That's money. Come on. You got to finish that play off. But yeah, just look at the size advantage. Like, we're going to get cooked every single time. Like, no matter what we do. But here's Killian Hayes. Hold on. All right. That was a good move. Kemba for three? Let's go. I love it. We actually have a chance of winning this game now. All right, y'all. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Do not let Luka get any open shots, my guy. Oh, my gosh. A fader? Really? Dude, what on earth am I supposed to be able to do about that? And at the end of the... And scratch that, guys. I am not going out like that. We got one more season. I'm doing it again. I, I will not let you guys down and finish this video without a championship. So we're going one more season. We got to pay a lot of these guys now. But we got to make some moves, man. I, I cannot let us go out like this and not want to ring. And this disappointing of a fashion, it wasn't even close. We had the six picks th thanks to Houston. And we're going to be bringing in the best people possible to win this thing. But, of course... We got to at least find a way to justify this thing. So with that pick, I'm trading it away. Are the Raptors bad? At, if the Raptors suck, guess what deal we are making? But the Raptors got to be bad unless they would not trade away OG and OB. And the Raptors are down here. They ain't make no playoffs, baby. I'm down. Throw him over here. We need him. And uh, yeah, like nobody else really helps us. I mean, OG helps us out the most. And with that being said, I will be also making some other trades and I mean, Kelly Oubre. So, the way that we have this, one of these guys are coming off the bench. Probably Kelly. OG's going to start. We we obviously start Sadiq Bey. Killian Hayes is, is coming back. Can we upgrade from Rudy Gobert? That's the only other thing for us to do is if there's an upgrade. And, yeah, we're not, we're not going to find no upgrades. So, I think that that helps us out a lot. And looking at our lineup this season, okay, this is what we're going to do, y'all. We're doing this. We're going to be starting Killian Hayes, Jalen Green, Sadiq Bey, OG Anobi is playing power forward for us. And then they want to start Isaiah Stewart. Okay. Um, this is the part where we trade Rudy Gobert because I'm not going to be having that man making all that money and not even starting on this team. That is nuts. So we got to find a center. So there is literally no trade market for Rudy Gobert at all. So this is the this is literally the last stand with this team. And I mean, we got a backup small forward, backup point guard, backup shooting guard, and a backup center. We got to find a way to make this team work. Um, but this is as good as it's going to get for this team. And I mean, does it at least say that we are contending? All right, so at least we got that. Let's just see. I mean, everyone on this team got better. We added in OG and Obi. This is still the same team. But I think the only way to make it realistic for the Pistons is to have an underdog team win them a championship. To me, that's kind of what the Pistons are. So let's sit back. It's our final season. It's the last stand. And I hope that we can figure this out somehow and win. All right, guys. So we are at the trade deadline. And the Lakers are one of the worst teams in the NBA. Still, this is back-to-back -back years. And they're, and they're running with Nikola Jokic. So guess what I'm about to go ahead and do? I'm going after him now. Because... It's clear that this team is trying to do something that is not working. I'm going to try to pick this man up now. He has no trade clause, but I'm going to still try to go after him. I'll give you guys all of that and draft picks. And can we make this happen? How about this? How about we just say forget that and I just throw Rudy Gobert and a bunch of picks. My problem with 2K is if we're going to do this whole star system thing, they are half a star apart. And I'm giving you guys all these first. It should just go through, but fine. 
who else can I possibly go after if not Rudy Gobert? Because we need something to shake up this team and help us out. Rudy Gobert, Baylor, and that and that Hawks pick. Come on. Give me something now. Mitchell Robinson. I don't think that they're trading him because he's, he's on the best team in the entire league. But hold on. But this trade right here, Mo Bamba and Cole Anthony, they have folds. I'm going to go ahead and make this move. And hopefully this move helps us and makes things easier for us. I still want to do that, but that just helps out our bench a lot more. And we can have Cole Anthony run that backup to guard for us. He is up to 186 overall there. And as far as our backup small forward, we already got that covered. Backup power forward. I'll just make that boogie. Like, I think this lineup can actually work. So let's just keep simming. And let's hope that by the end of this, we are something higher than the fifth seed. Which with all these moves, I would hope that during the playoffs, we can actually turn up and, you know, actually win a championship. But we just got to sit back and we got to see. And we finish off as the sixth seed. This is so random. I've never built, I've never built a team like this with... I mean, granted, we don't have one star, but look at how many 90s we got. We got 190, 290, basically a third, basically a flight, like, bruh. Look at all of these. Look at these overalls, man. This team would figure it out. Let, let's cut the cap. This year, we are the sixth seed. And let's look at the stats. We have Jalen Green, Killian Hayes. These are the numbers and the stats for all of our entire lineup. And let's just let 2K do its thing, man, because, you know, right now, 2K is on some nonsense. But this is what I'm going to do. Cut it down to an eight-man rotation for the, for the playoffs. And I'm going to just give them what they want. You guys control the lineup. You guys make the decisions. The third seed, New York Knicks. Who do they have on their team? They got Lonzo. They got Zaire Williams. They got John Collins and Mitch Robinson. Interesting team. They take game one. We take game two. We go up 2-1. Come on, guys. S six versus seven seed. Boston versus the Celtics. This is a better matchup for us. Um, Kevin Porter. I mean, they do got, say, Kuso. He might want some, like, revenge, but they do take game one. We take game two. Come on, guys. It's tied up. Come on, y'all. We go up 3-2. Conference finals again. Up against the number one seeded Philly. They added Josh Green to their team. But they do have some weaknesses there. We take game one. Come on, y'all. We up 2-1. Guys, I need you guys to advance. I'm going to simcast it. I do not want to go out like this. We force the game seven. 31 from game. Yo, Cole Anthony is turning up off the bench as well. Game seven, son. The first seed versus the sixth seed. We need this dub, y'all. Do not choke. Do not fold. Come back. We came back in the second quarter. And we're running away with it. Let's get it. We win by six points. We are headed back to the NBA Finals. And this time, we got Spurs, and the Spurs, they have Giannis. Giannis dips, <laughs> and they went to another team in Texas. They got Evan Mobley, him, and they still got Trey Jones and Keldon Johnson. Okay. Uh, that means that Sadiq Bey needs to go off. We take game one. They take game two. We go up 2-1. We go up 3-1. And can we do it, y'all? Can we do it? We, we had to come back, and we had to run it back, and we are able to win a NBA championship i noticed kemba with 29 in the closeout game but this video was so hard to make our boy killian hayes is this year's finals mvp 15 points 11 assists and he shot 51 percent from the field and 42 from the three-point line you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this spam the like button and let me know what other rebuilds you guys want to see in the comment section below the fact that we got demarcus cousins a championship y'all boys gotta like up the video and it really helps out the channel our final roster was Jalen green killian hayes of course the focal point of this entire video he finished off at a 91 overall sadiq bay cole anthony kelly Oubre, og nobi mo bamba kemba walker isaiah stewart Nikhil alexander walker boogie david johnson delon wright we had a squad but most of these guys were literally either already here drafted here or throwaway pieces from other team i think that we did a really good job on this video so grade it in the comment section below and other than that guys thanks for watching this video i'll see y'all boys in the next one and let me know do you guys think that Killian Hayes is going to be able to lead Detroit to a championship? Let me know in the comment section below.